Moje sestra do kouta nepůjde. Have you seen the Czech national selection 2023 winning performance? Is it going to be successful? Stay with me to the very end of this video to find out if this entry is going to win. Hello guys, this is your Eurovisionary voice calling. I present my reactions comments here. This time I'm going to show you my honest comment on the song that will represent Czechia in the Eurovision Song Contest 2023. This is My Sister's Crown by Vesna. Let's watch the first snippet. Well, first things first, a rather traditional but at the same time vocally strong beginning. Definitely these ladies make a decent impression on the audience and above all seem to get points from the jury if they qualify for the grand final, as in the semis only the public is to vote. Will they let Czechia go through to the final? I don't know. The song was chosen by the public voting only, 70% international and 30% Czech citizens, according to eurovisionworld.com. And it is to represent the Czech Republic in the Eurovision Song Contest 2023. The song is presented in four languages Czech, Ukrainian, English and Bulgarian. Unfortunately for Czechia this year Bulgaria isn't participating in the Eurovision Song Contest so there won't be extra much anticipated points from them. Similarly to Poland, whose representative, Blanka, is half Bulgarian, half Polish because of her father. The band's songs are a mix of folk and pop, and My Sister's Crown seems to be of this kind as well. We are not your dogs, we are not your dogs. Life's not a money bag, blood's on your god's head. You can steal our souls, you can steal our souls. This song was created especially for Eurovision and the main motive for its creation was to attract attention to Slavic culture and less popular Eastern European languages, according to Eurovisia.org. In the intro to the video clip we can hear, quote, Once upon a time, in a Slavic kingdom, there was love and sisterhood. Until one day, shadows crept in, and everything was forgotten." Unquote. Once upon a time in a Slavic kingdom, there was love and sisterhood. And the lyrics say as well, quote, My sister's crown, don't take it down. Unquote. Rumor has it that, including the video clip, this might refer to Ukraine, whose crown can or is being taken down. I'm curious about the staging, if this will be similar, the same or maybe different in Liverpool. Here we have outfits of different colors that on the one hand give us diversity, on the other hand there doesn't seem to be coherence. They sound very good together, don't they? Especially the three lead singers, because we can call them this way, can't we? You can hear that it's not the first time together on stage. We also have this kind of spoken part. We can call it rap, can't we? The chorus is stronger, more sounds, more instruments, more diversity and this gives me goosebumps. A bit similar feeling to the one I had when I heard Jan's chorus in his Gladiator in the Polish national selection. When I give it to you, leave you on it. 
addiction's attention, let's start a show Is it everything and more than you were hoping for? A show is something we never seen before Smash your competition, baby Show some good entertainment The Czech performance from the national selection is just okay Maybe it will be more impressive on a bigger stage in Liverpool. In all honesty, I have to admit that I prefer the studio version, where this song is more powerful and, thanks to what we see there, has got the message which seems to be lost on stage by, for example, random choice of outfits. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not sure if Vesna will make it to the grand final in the Eurovision Song Contest 2023. Presumably, this entry might get more votes from the jury, but as I said before, in semis, this is only the public that votes. I'm just curious how the public will vote because the Czech Republic doesn't usually get too many points from the viewers. What do you think about that, guys? <laughs> All in all, I'd say this is a decent performance with very good vocals. Will Vesna's sister lead them to victory to get the crown? We'll see if Vesna will get the best result for the Czech Republic. To do that, they would have to finish at least fifth, as the best result for Czechia so far has been the sixth place in the grand final. It was in 2018. In the end, I can only say well done Vesna, congratulations Czechia. I assume this song might qualify for the grand final, but I'm not 100% sure if this will happen, as in the semis only the public is voting and the song is, I'd say, a jury type of a song. We stand for you. What do the bookmakers say about the Czech entry? At this moment, the 18th of March 2023, it's in 8th place on EurovisionWorld.com. Let's hear it for Vesna and the whole team. And guys, if you've enjoyed my video, then please like it and remember to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Let me know what you think of this performance in the comments below. I encourage you to watch my previous videos about the Eurovision Song Contest. Click now on the end screen which you see here and it will redirect you to one of them. Thank you for watching my video. I'll be back soon. Bye guys.